Merry Christmas.
Switch. Welcome in, everyone. Oopsies. There we go. I apologize for the mess up with the music there. Let me get my earbuds and everything going here so that I can... hear what's going on myself. There we go. It doesn't list my... what? Let's just try that. That'll work too. That'll work for me. Uh, let's see. Why am I not hearing music? Is there no music playing now? There we go. Nice. Alright, let's get into some coffee. Before we get into this ridiculousness that is tonight's dinner. How is everyone out there? Happy holidays. Let's see, we got coffee ground. sort of heavy initial balloon. Why am I loud tonight? Is it just maybe the... I think it's just the settings on this output. Huh. rewind. I don't know why I never remember to finish this project. I, I fill the cone. Then I'm supposed to fill the cup. And like 80% of the time I try and walk the kettle back to the counter instead. I'm silly. My brain makes me do funny things. Thank you. 
Oopsies. Always get that trying to reheat on me. Two. That's the other one. So tonight we're listening to a new jazz list, separate from my old one. I did run a poll in chat whether I should do holiday music or not, and uh, that was shot down. So we'll stick with jazz. I know some people don't love the holidays. And so... I intend this to be the last time I bring that up. But welcome, everyone. Oh, hey there, we got critters. That's not what I want in my coffee. Let's get rid of those. It's getting to my sugar on my wire wrap. Uh oh. <laughs> that could be an issue. Cheers, everyone. Okay, so... My timers are obviously not running. There we go. We're gonna start tonight's dinner with some onions. Just happen to handily have those right next to the board, just by chance. It's about as stream magic as we get here. I mean, no, no fake roasts in the oven, pre-made. No. Uh, None of that TV hype. I promise to never arrive to my stream in a helicopter. Like, just to look like a badass. <laughs> but for the uninformed, let me pull up this website here.
this is what we are doing tonight. If the web browser wanted to capture. Come here. Come here, web browser. There we go. Except I think this needs to be pan seared too. It could be a messy affair, but we'll see. But we're, we're going to be doing a cheeseburger with a camembert wheel as our bun. I, I, yeah. And how can you not have like onion rings with something like that, you know? So, but speaking of that, I wasn't supposed to cut that in half. I wasn't making all onion rings out of this, but I was intending to keep it as a whole. Okay, to start we need a couple of thin slices for our cheeseburger. That's probably enough for that. And next we'll go into onion rings. That actually might be enough right there. Especially since I cut this one in half already. I was intending to do the center core of both of these for the onion rings and the outsides for this part, but we're going to do some caramelized onions. Oh hey, might have been good to switch back to that at some point. You could actually see what I was doing. Let's 
to our battle. To battle. Let's see. How do I want to go about this? Yeah, we're just going to do haste. Oh, we got some in the back here. That's where everyone is. Okay. Huh? My rogue was tagged to attack that guy in the front. And he just sat there and he just took off. Ignored him. That's a bummer. Victory. We won, though. We won, though. Momo Jawali and Pirata Games getting the rewards there. Thank you for your assistance. Hmm. Let's go with Warrior. Oh, he's going to be interested in all this stuff up here first. So I'm going to put him up top here too. Rogues will go after the presents. And, uh, yeah, let's give me a little support too. See how that works out in 30 minutes. All right, so since I left things on the website for so long, I didn't show people what I was doing here. We've got this one that I'm going to throw in with the caramelized onions. We got two thin slices for our burger. We got some thick boys that I'm going to turn into onion rings. You know what? I'm almost. Let's do one more onion. Because I don't think that's going to be enough caramelized onions either. Doesn't want to peel. Oh well. Time's sake, we're gonna ditch a layer of this onion. Couple more onion rings. Couple more. You too, Smitty. Well, thank you. Welcome in. How you been?
pan on low. I'm gonna add some oil in there in a moment, and then we'll add our onions to start caramelizing. before sunflower and actually uh, when I looked at I came across a graph versus of the actual resources and land required to grow each of the plants to produce a certain amount of oil and the sunflower oil was one of the best ones as far as how much you can produce for the amount of land. So I'd much rather use that than one of these other oils that are taking up other lands that we want to, don't want to be turning into farmland. Uh, a camembert bun is literally a camembert wheel that I am going to pan sear and use as a bun for my hamburger. Um, much like this webpage photo right here. Apparently a Japanese fast food restaurant um, has been making this due to great consumer demand. And uh, I, I felt the need to at least try it. Uh, and so I'm not completely copying what they've got there. I'm, I'm dressing my burger up a bit more. But, yeah, that's the plan for tonight. That and some onion rings. start by getting these going. I am gonna leave the cheese into the refrigerator until the last moment because I do want it to be cold to go into the pan. I don't want it room temperature to go in the pan. Otherwise I would have it here to much easier demonstrate what I'm planning to do. I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. And so while that's getting going, I thought it might be fun. Make, take my hand at uh, making my own homemade Thousand Island.
Okay. Oil. More oil. Nice whisk to get this going. Start with the olive oil in the beginnings of our mayonnaise. And I'm thinking I'm going to hack this and see if I can't come up with the Thousand Island without adding all the bulk of adding the ketchup in this. We'll, we'll see. Starting off with the olive oil. I actually started buying my olive oil in bulk too, so I'm reusing that bottle. a lot of those. I've used the blender, I've used my blender all the time for it, but the if I'm doing a large amount of mayo, they're great. If you're doing a single egg yolk like I do a lot of the time, just by hand, it's very hard because you don't get the blender going nearly enough. So if you're doing enough for a restaurant for, you know, a party or something, sure. Or maybe you've got a smaller one but I'm talking either this or the square Vitamix standard container just doesn't handle a single egg very well Plus this way, if I break it, I get to show you guys what a broken one looks like. I keep smelling like I'm burning my onions back here, but they're just browning a bit quicker than I want them to be. They're browning unevenly. Makes me actually think I want to add some moisture into that pan to cause them to cook a little more evenly. Oh yeah, that's actually uh, did I have that on my list for this year? Things that I was interested in wanting for the kitchen. I don't know, but. That is on my list of things I am interested in getting for my kitchen. Which is, I don't have a small cup one for my blender. And actually they've moved on to a newer blender fit from this older style. And so it's even, I gotta buy like the adapter plus the cup thing.
They are Smitty. Or they will be. I am not going to soak them in milk. I'm not going to soak them in butter fat. Buttermilk. Um... Still not picking up my earbuds regularly. Weird. My audio setup for my earbuds and stuff that glitches up every now and then. Right now, it doesn't seem to be recognizing my earbuds as uh, its normal Bluetooth. It's only recognizing them as a phone. And so I'm listening things in the, the audio slightly off and I'm getting a chirp every now and then because... Well... I'm starting to make a mayo, but the mayo is then going to turn into a thousand style, thousand island esque dressing for our burger. Or for our. I don't know if we still want to call this a burger. There's no real bread still involved. I mean, we're substituting cheese for bread. Welcome in, Buster Freeze. I think we got enough olive oil in there now. We can switch to the cheaper oil at this point. Some of these onions are so close to being burnt at this point that I'm going to add some moisture in here. Yeah, if we're going to add some moisture, we're going to add some liquid. Let's add some flavor too. So we'll add an ice cube of chicken stock. salt, MSG, black pepper,
little freeze dried thyme. Welcome in, Nan Reader. Merry Christmas Eve to you. Okay, I was gonna loosen that up a bit more. If you wanna go the traditional uh, mayo route at this point, you add a bit of lemon juice in there. I might, eh, I got a lemon, don't, we can do a little lemon. A little vinegar or a little Tabasco. definitely going to hit this with a bit of mustard, but I'm going to do that a bit later. Um, yeah, let's go with lemon. Lemon, by the way, reminding me of our current ingredient challenge for Wednesday. We have lemon juice versus something else getting off the top of my head what the challenger for lemon lemon gru lemon juice is uh, Stubbs barbecue sauce so on Wednesday I'm gonna have to make dessert either with lemon juice or Stubbs barbecue This is probably going to be more than sufficient. Oh yeah, this is a juicy one too. That was a lot of liquid there. That might have been too much here for emulsion. Try and keep going here. We don't have a separation of oil from our rest of our dish yet, so it seems to be holding its emulsion. turn those onions off and let them just coast you can restart with the new egg yolk and build up a new mayo to be thick enough that you can add the other one into it's 
going to make a much larger project. And... Much more expensive project than we get it back there, though. Okay at that though, it's slightly thickening up here, so I am hopeful that I have not broken it. Coffin break time. Which is reminding we've got four minutes left on our Stream Raiders map. Three minutes for you to put units out there. I've only got one other person supporting me so far. Yep, I start my stream off with it every time. I'm not, I would say there's other people on Twitch that are more coffee aficionados than me, but I enjoy it because it's nice restful routine to get me rolling into know your limits I mean it is something that if you don't realize it if you're not paying attention to it you can really over caffeinate yourself I was getting myself bothered over uh... <coughs> early this year I got hooked on Herba Mate and I still like Herba Mate but I got hooked on like the the cans of it and I wouldn't drink more than one can, but even one can would knock me out the next day. And so, I, I actually have a selection of them that have been sitting on the shelf now for a little while now because I just know that if I break into one of them, I'm going to be feeling it the next day. But sometimes you need that jolt too. And yeah, I've, I've had some gut issues in my past where I've given up coffee for a month or longer at a time.
the coffee I'm typically these days I'm typically a two cup a day two cup a well this is 16 ouncer but two of those a day one before stream one to start the day off let's do our battle let's go to war Hmm. I think I'm just gonna put haste. This might be a rough one. It's mostly presence though, so. This no problem. No problem. It's just gonna take a minute to take out all those presents. games getting those rewards in me too hmm I think I'm gonna go berserker this time Maybe we can't get a few more people to join in at the link above and give me some support, support in the battle. All right, back to our Thousand Island dressing here that still a bit thin. That lemon juice, I really should have only used like maybe a quarter of that lemon juice. needs more salt. Pretty close there. It's lacking something though. It's lacking something though. It's really bright and acidic from that lemon juice and from the olive oil um, let's hit it up with a little more umami let's hit it up with a bit more umami
a bit heavy on the mustard. Even though I didn't hit that hard with the mustard. Um, I'll stop playing with it after that. What do you think that looked like? Thousand Island 2, folks? It's a little thin. Runs a little too much, but for a burger joint that's going to add water to it anyways. Uh, onion rings. Let's get going with those now. Start by popping these all out individually as much as possible and trying not to break them like that. really want to stick together since they're all smaller onions. I'm not using big giant onion for this. Actually very unimpressed with the size of the onions that I got in this batch. I normally just grab these bags and they're normally much larger ones. I'll keep the broken ones too. Which way are you gonna pop out easier that way? Towards me. Hmm. Yeah, that's enough. I definitely don't need more than that. I don't know what I'm, like, looking at that, I'm like, is that enough onion rings? Of course it is. For me.
So we got our flour layer going there. Now we're going to need some cornstarch. Just happen to have a little cornstarch here. oil for our frying our onion rings a bit later. Okay, and this is where the seasoning happens for our onion rings, where our flavor happens. Little salt. <laughs> MSG. Because we love MSG here. mustard powder garlic powder powder cayenne paprika Debating if I add any cumin into this or not. Put our 
oil away from our Thousand Island. Just realizing I have all that spice up on the And I assume this to all gum up. I intend to add a bit of liquid into this. Probably a good choice of flavoring liquid. <coughs> Along with a little water or beer. I think we've established at this point that here in America they're essentially the same thing. Ants and everything tonight, don't I? What is going on with these bugs? So we want this ultimately to be relatively thick, but still liquid enough that it's going to coat our onion rings. And the cornstarch will settle back out. I just want to make sure that this is right consistency for later on when we do our frying. Okay, now we're about, now we're getting there. We're getting a little ribboning going on. Just a slight bit more. haven't caught on I'm sort of prepping everything up ahead of time 
and then final dinner is just going to be essentially cooking the burgers. Next we're going to get our veggies prepped. We got our onions ready to go. You just need to put them in the batter, put them into the hot oil once the oil is heated up. We got our onion slices ready for our burger. Now let's do our thick slice of tomato. Even though it certainly is not tomato season. Let's hope that we got something usable here on this. Oh, that's looking mighty white to me. I think I'm going to go pretty thin on this. It is still that white after I've had this in the house for several days in a paper bag. It is certainly not summer. But we've got our tomato slice for our burger now. And then for a burger, for just doing the one single burger, we're, we're going to go after that nice piece of perfectly round lettuce towards the center of our bunch that'll do the, just a little large, it'll just cover the whole burger with one leaf nicely. Okay, I lied. We'll use two pieces. Rather than letting the rest of this lovely lettuce go waste, Much quicker ways to do that if you're leaving the head whole and not taking out a couple of key pieces in the center.
So we got a little side saddle going here too. So white. So white. So unripe. tonight. My bench scraper. So we'll put the tomatoes in there but just sort of off to the side. That way they don't all break down the lettuce. Just chilling out off to the side. Let's do a little carrot up real quick for that too. Wonder how many people out there. It seems sort of like a quiet crowd tonight. Wondering how many people there are like recovering from big meals tonight or the like. Maybe starting the relaxing early. Speaking of that. Cheers, folks.
So we got our lettuce, onion, and pickle. Or le lettuce, onion, and tomato. Don't have our pickle for a burger, that's why I'm using the Thousand Island. Um... Anything else before we get into burger territory? Oh, we got cucumber for the salad, too. I think both cucumber and celery have a tendency to taste like dirty water. Like they were grown with dirty water, which is probably true. Um, but of the two, I think I. I, I greatly prefer cucumber over celery. Celery definitely has a different flavor that works more with savory stuff. And I like celeriac quite a bit. But celery versus cucumber? I think I'm gonna pick cucumber. Maybe I should do one of those uh, rated charts in the future. All sorts of help in here now. Look at everyone joining in on the battle. Awesome, awesome. Let's see here. What all do we have? Um, I think Killing Field. Let's hope that's where the battle ends up being. <laughs> Maybe just outside of it. Seem to be doing okay damage anyways. Suki getting that kill. Majestica getting two assists. Treebow and God Gamer Girl all getting the rewards though. Boss defeated. Victory. Um, let's see, we take top and bottom route here. We got two chests. That seems like extra map. I think we'll go Yeah, we'll do top route here. And we'll start down here towards the bottom with all these other ones. Move our way over to those. See how we do here in 30 minutes. Oh, hey, it would have helped if I had this on the battle, wouldn't it, folks? I apologize for that. But we won that last one. <laughs> Back to cucumber. I'm gonna start heating up that oil for these onion rings now. Cause that's gonna be next project.
we'll portion out our burgers ready to go and by then hopefully the oil will be warm enough to do our frying. So this will end up being a quarter pound burger since I'm doing two patties with the cheese. Next question is really the cheese. Do I go and have this? Which yeah, this is looking like I'm probably going to, having this is probably my best bet. I mean, I don't, yeah, I don't know if I dare do The real questions here are, I didn't check the date to see how old this is. Interesting. Interesting. Has a best before date but it doesn't have a born date, which if you're familiar with Brie or Camembert, the older it is, the creamier and softer it gets. Yeah. Ooh, that's got some funk to it. Ooh. Ooh. 
That's got some funk. Okay, I'm doing this perhaps a bit premature here. Because we gotta fry our onion rings. Trying to keep that so much on somewhat under wraps there. Um, let's see. Do I want to pull? Oh, we're good with that too. It's like, ooh, my Thousand Islands breaking, but no, it's just the way the spices look. Thousand Island is not breaking. It's still looking lovely over here. Onion rings. Let's bring both of these over to the stove here. Gonna need my tweezer tongs. And we're waiting for you to warm up. About 190 degrees right now, which we're gonna want 375, I think, at least. <coughs> 400 maybe pushing it. I don't know. Alcohol sort of makes the 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 butt end of a uh, coffee not so bad. caramelized onions from earlier those are looking nice and yummy making sure to keep this mixed up all that cornstarch will settle like I said before and so it'll get thinner unless you keep it mixed just drying off the pan on on the other side there rinse it out after cooking the onions in it and so Need to get that water out so that it doesn't cause any rust. That pan's pretty well coated these days though.
275-ish at this point. I don't know if you can see the display on that or not on the screen. I know I can do it so you can, but whether I held it at the right angle so anyone caught it. It's another thing. Sitting here thinking about this, I actually think I should probably sear the camembert before I go to do the burgers because we don't want the camembert that soft. I'm also not sure 100%. I, I hope this turns out all right, searing it this way. I do have a second wheel. If it turns out an absolute mess, we'll, we'll just go with the plain cold camembert because that's what article here from the story that I'm following said. It is served with the cold wheel of camembert in the Japanese fast food restaurant. That time I know you can see it. Guess it's time for me to clean off my shelves if we got ants able to figure out where I got sugar on wild wire racks. That's just wild. seems to be the eternal battle in this home is ants find one way they're coming in seal it off kill them off next year they find three new ways it's a seasonal thing they'll be gone by April And we'll turn the oven on just to really low. We'll heat it up to 200 and then we'll just turn it off. And that'll help keep our onion rings just a little bit warm while we finish up our burger. back in the fridge because I want this to be cold. Thank you, guys. Back with even more Chef to Party. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Are you guys doing anything special to celebrate?
I think that justifies a new drink. Cheers, folks. Happy holidays. He's dropping another 200 now after dropping 300 right at the very beginning of the stream, like, very beginning. Come on, oil. Let's go, oil. Let's go. Oh, we're 350, 360. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's just go. Let's make sure we're mixed up one last time with our batter. You can also put some baking soda or baking powder if you want to add a little more foamage to this. We're gonna take our onion rings individually, dunk them. Loving these little strands that are coming off of this batter. Might just make some more of those on top of that if we got extra batter. Those are awesome. Okay, I think we're at our fryer capacity there. sort of a thing. salt as they come out of the fry oil. We'll head on to our next batch here.
Don't drop them in like that. That is not safe. That's our oven coming up to 200 degrees. We'll turn that off. Let's give one of these a shot. Nice. Lots of flavor there. A little less crunch than I expected. A little more cakey. Almost. That egg drastically changed things for this. I like the way these came out. But they're different. They're good different, but if you didn't go into your onion rings with an open mind, you might be unimpressed. Beautiful ribbons that we're getting off of this egg batter. Sort of, sort of torn on it. Like I said, it's definitely not your typical onion ring batter, but it's still making some nice onion. Almost out of batter here. Sort of scraping the bat bottom of the barrel here to get this last one coated. That's a big one coated. Yeah, we'll leave the last set. Those are just ends and nubs. Make sure all these get flipped. Just because they're sort of cool. Cut the heat.
hit them with some fresh ground, fine salt. And we'll throw those onion rings we got here. Down into the oven. We're gonna cover up our oil here. Last 30 seconds to get units on the battlefield, and we will carefully two handedly. Move the oil to the back of the stove. Or it'll cool off all on its own. I'll strain it later. I can turn around now. I can look at chat now. Okay. I think it's time we try and do this pan seared brie. brie. I think we're gonna do that pan. So I think I can fit both of them in there barely like that. Let's do our battle first though. Let's do our battle. Oh, we're split. Well, the people near me are gonna get haste then, so we can catch up to you. <laughs> hmm. Tree bow getting the ice bear. Suki getting those kills. Pirata getting the sis. Tree bow and squidfish. Squidfish, that's a fun name. Getting the rewards. Ooh, me too. <coughs> awesome. Okay. Mm, let's do one more. We might end up finishing this one off stream. Maybe. I'm going to put my tank out there. Okay, over to the stove here. Let me get my self a wipe off here we're getting a bit sweaty and hot for our searing our brie and we're gonna need a fair amount of oil in this pan too but I don't want it swimming either so I'm gonna use my squirty thingy with some olive oil squirty thingy it's a precision tool changing things with cheese like even though this is still the same good old oh the 
Thank you, thank you, Mr. Blake Harrington. Thank you for that raid. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you for that resub, Shadowtronics. How is everyone doing this fine evening? We're having some fun. Been making some onion rings already. We've got side salad already made up. Giant side salad, because I used up the rest of the lettuce I had. We made ourselves a little secret sauce, or Thousand Island, homemade from scratch. Got some caramelized onions. And we're about to start doing some burgers. But in the oven, we've also got these beauties. Just finished frying these. They're just staying warm in the oven here. Some nice little onion rings. And the goal of tonight's dinner, a rather intriguing thought. I came across this article the other night and was like, yeah, I just have to. Uh, we're we're going to do a burger with camembert as our bun. And so right now I am heating up this pan over here, nice and warm. Get this nice and roasty toasty. And we're going to sear our cheese in that pan and then hopefully take it out and allow it to reset enough that we can do the actual burger. And not only do we have a whole wheel of camembert here, we've got American to go with our actual meat. So it's a cheeseburger with a cheese bun. And the restaurant that this comes out, it's a fast food restaurant in Japan that's done this. And they apparently have done it due to consumer demand. Uh, but they're serving it cold. They're, they're serving the cheese cold with the hot burger. And I was like, I'm gonna at least try and get a pan sear on these. I'm gonna try. I do have a second wheel of cheese if this becomes a disaster. Okay, that's nice and smoky. Real low flame under there now, now that it's brought up to a smoke heat. And we'll take our first half of our cheese. Yeah, I might just have to do this one at a time here. No, that was a failure. That's a no-go. So heaven forbid I'll have to do something with the rest of that cheese at some point.
yeah, it just didn't... It just wasn't going to work. It was going to melt before I got a good color on it. I've seen people sear this side nicely, but that wasn't what I was going for with this. So this is just going to get wrapped up and I'll eat this at some other point here off stream. Smiths out there are going to be joining into the scramble. We also got stream readers going on here if anyone's familiar. Oh, come on, clean up. Okay, so we're not pan searing that. We're just going to do our burgers. And so I've already got my pound of beef over here into cut into six. I'm going to heavily season these into with salt. I can do that here on camera right now, or at least two of these. And we're just gonna do some smash burgers tonight, just gonna smash these down on our flat hot pan once that's ready. Even more salt. But since we're not doing that one, we're doing this one. Make sure we got a nice clean and still wet knife, do our cheese cutting. See, that's why you need a nice clean wet knife because it's not going to be clean and usable afterward. Let's do our first burger here. Our first burger in the pan. 
Not that one. That one will work. All right, so we'll start building our burger then. That it is. So we got our homemade Thousand Island. We got caramelized onion. Got a burger that needs some cheese. I think I'm gonna go lettuce, tomato, and onion on top. Keep in mind they have to be food related, at least loosely. The dictionary is all. Some culinary stuff. I mean, some of it is like management like related, but. It's our first burger. Normally anything on the board I'm willing to lick up, but who knows sometimes. Salt the other side of our burger. Uh-oh, you got a bloody burger.
So we got our quarter pound cheeseburger. Hit that up with some lettuce. Couple of thin sliced red onions. Stay. Nice thin slice of our out of season tomato. Okay, don't stay on their onions. Or lettuce. bit more of our homemade Thousand Island or special sauce on there and there we go there we have our Brie Burger or our Camembert grilled cheese we are having a little bit of blood leakage issue wait plate man up in my best choice here Get a photo of this quick before it dissolves. Quick, I need a knife. I need a clean knife. Okay, I think we're going to go for the hand shot. All right, moment of truth. It's already falling apart. That is a lot of cheese. That is a lot of cheese. Oh wow. <coughs> that is a lot of cheese. Is it all over my face? I'm sure it is. Wow. That is a lot of cheese. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know if I can handle that.
I don't know if I can handle that. That is a lot of cheese. And while I don't mind funky cheese. That's a funky camembert too. You, you can tell where that's coming from. Um, hmm. I would almost say it's a win if it wasn't actively falling apart. Like, maybe there's a camembert you can find out there that's got a nice enough rind that it's gonna hold. But this one, this one's just like, it, it's self-destructing. Um, flavor, I mean, it's, it's, if you love cheese, you're gonna love this. But it is cheese. Let's give everyone a main close-up view of this deliciousness before we close things off for the evening. Goulash. Sorry, I told everyone it had to be food related and that it was marble. I mean, marble is sort of food related. You, you temper chocolate on marble, but. We've got four minutes left until our last Stream Raiders battle of the evening. Let's see if I can even pick this up again. I don't think I can. No, it's just gonna, that bottom piece of cheese just completely disintegrated. But these were really cool. I really like how the batter turned out with these. Got all the frizzly bits. The egg does soften a little bit. It isn't as crisp as your typical onion ring. There's still crispness there. It's still crispy, but it's a little more cakey. Winter tomatoes. Ugh. Let's finish up the salad too. I am eating the salad. Salad wasn't originally part of the plan tonight, but I got into cutting that lettuce and I'm like, yep, yeah, let's do a proper salad with everything else. Got some nice Thousand Island that we made fresh today.
Yep, salad. Yep, that tomato is too ripe. Or underripe. What can you do? It's just number tomato. Hmm. Oh. That's interesting. That's someone I haven't seen we've been able to raid before. We're definitely going over there. We're definitely going over there. I think we're going for haste with this one. Last battle of the evening. After the presents, while the, the last mobs we actually have to kill are all trying to chase us. Tree Bow's pally turned around and got all those kills for us. Tree Bow getting those kills. We take the sword. I'm guessing at that. Getting our assist. Victory. Squidfish in tree bow. Getting the rewards there. And we will call it a night there as far as stream readers. And really the stream tonight. I want to thank everyone for joining in. These things are yummy. This is about as ridiculous as you would expect it to be. It's about that nuts. So yeah. Maybe on the try it once to give it a try sometime, but yeah, that's pretty nuts. I, in turn, am going to send you all off to a lovely food and drink streamer who I very rarely get a chance to ever raid. Uh, they are a late night streamer. <coughs> <coughs> they are very much a mature stream. So just making sure you people understand this. We are going to hang out with some Australians that love to use their words. So I hope you enjoy. want to thank you all for joining in with me tonight. I will be back here on Sunday, uh, two days, and going to be starting early on Sunday. Going to be starting at 3 p.m. instead of 4.30 p.m., so hour and a half earlier. That's because I'm doing pot roast, and it's going to take a while. It's going to take a bit in the oven. So we're going to be hanging out. We're going to be chatting. Uh, I've got bread to plan for that day. Who knows what else I can come up with to sort of 
while we're waiting on that to roast. But that is going to take a two, three hour roast. And uh, that's before we even get going with it. So it's, it's easily going to be a four hour process. Uh, I hope you come back and join me for that. Uh, let's go say hi to Cat's Kitchen. Uh, they're going to hopefully play their spiel for you to let you know they are an adult stream. So, once again, I hope you enjoy. I hope to see you back again. Good night now.